Welcome back to Grand Sumo Highlights. We are at day four of the May tournament. Fans allowed back into the Kukukikan starting today. And we start the day with seven men tied for the lead, all undefeated, including Mitakeyumi and Takayasu. The Dixie no doubt happy to hear and see fans around the arena after spending the first three days in an empty arena. We begin with Chiyo Taidu and Kaisei. Chiyo Taidu on the right, the first of seven Dixie, a perfect 3 and 0. Oh. Facing this man, Kaisei, who is at 1 and 2. Kaisei, though, with a commanding 16 to 4 record versus Chiyo Taidu. They ram into each other. Kaisei moving forward quite nicely. Kaisei with a left hand outside grip. Chiyo Taidu slips both arms inside, but this is not his game. He's a pusher thruster, and Kaisei shows you why. Kaisei having no trouble winning by Yorikiri force out. He evens his record at 2-2. Two and two. Chiyo Taidu's first loss. Here are Akiseyama and Ishiura. Both at 1 and 2. Ishiura has put on weight. He's up to 121 kilograms. Akiseyama enjoying success late in his career. Hitting and shifting is Ishiura. Nice tsupari. Now Akiseyama wraps him up. Akiseyama much heavier than Ishiura. Despite the weight gain for Ishiura. They separate. Big slap from Ishiura. Boy, that was some roundhouse left by the small man. That seemed to daze Akiseyama. It's a shitatenage underarm throw for that man. Take a look at this. Ishiura winds up and smacks Akiseyama in the cheek and then throws him down. Here are Akua and Dai Amami. Two men who got their professional sumo careers started late in their 20s. Dai Amami. There. And here is Akua. This, by the way, his 500th career match. Shifting to his left is Akua, and that looked like a bad move. Dai Amami dominates that match, but look at the Gyoji. He points his Goombai to Akua. So let's get a look at the replay. Maybe some poor footwork from Dai Amami. A Monoi. The judges want to talk this one over. Here's the slow motion replay. The heel of Akua, or ooh, the right foot of Dai Amami. That was close. The heel of one Nikshi and the foot of another Nikshi landed out simultaneously, so we will have a rematch. Here is the rematch. Hitting and shifting once again is Aqua, but Dai Amami this time pulls down. Slaps down, Akua. They call it a katasukashi, under shoulder swing down. So Dai Amami leaves no doubt the second time that he is superior. He's up to two and two, Akua falls to one and three. Another look. 
Just like the first batch, Aqua sliding to his left. Doesn't phase Dai Amami at all. He slips both arms inside and then pulls forward Aqua. Up on the dohyo now, it's Koto Eko and Chiyomaru. Both at two and one. Koto Eko, one of those rare, rare rikshi who's more fit than fat. Can't say that about Chiyomaru, although he is lighter than Ichinojo and Kaisei. Big stiff arm by Chiyomaru. Chiyomaru moving well in this match. He has Koto Eiko on the defensive. Koto Eiko rallies, but loses his balance. Good job by Chiyomaru. He improves to three and one with that Tsukiyotoshi thrust down. Koto Eiko now at two and two. Here's Okino Umi and Chiyo Shoma. Chiyo Shoma currently one and two. Veteran Okino Umi undefeated at a low rank. My gosh, you're 12. <laughs> Neither man dominating at the Tachi Eye, and they fall down almost simultaneously in the Gyoji points his goombai to Okinomi, but that looked like another close call, so the judges want to talk it over. Another Monoi. Here's what happens at the edge. Ooh, that hand of Okinomi's touched down really quickly. Okinomi's hand touched down first, so we reverse the Gyoji's decision. The winner is Chiyoshoma. So even though Okinomi was moving forward, he loses because his hand lands before Chiyoshoma landed out of the ring. And Watenage victory, overarm throw for that man. Here's another look. Frustrating match for Okinomi. He falls to his first loss. Here's Tamawashi and Kotonowaka. The oldest in the division, 36 year old Tamawashi versus one of the youngest, 23 year old Kotonowaka. Tamawashi doing very well. Perfect 3 and 0. Kotonowaka with a stronger Tachi eye slipping both arms inside. They separate. Tamawashi rallying briefly, but Kotonowaka responds and finishes off the veteran Tamawashi with an Oshidashi push out. Tamawashi with his first loss. Kotonowaka evens his record at 2 and 2. Here's Terutsuyoshi and Kagayaki. A small guy versus a tall guy. When Terutsuyoshi is facing a tall opponent, you have to think Ashitori, lead pick. But first things first, he has to have that big salt throw. He's currently one and two. Kagayaki, meantime, winless, 0 and 3. Always st stoic, Kagayaki. <laughs> Timing off there, so uh, they'll have to line up again. Coming in low is Terutsuyoshi. Grabbed the arm briefly of Kagayaki. Now Kagayaki asserts himself. Back and forth they go. 
Tetsuyoshi did grab the leg of Kagayaki's, but Kagayaki is able to spin around Tetsuyoshi to pick up the victory. It's a Tsukiyotoshi thrust down. Kagayaki's first victory this tournament. Both are now at one and three. So frenetic sumo by Tetsuyoshi, but not exactly effective sumo. Throughout this match, Tetsuyoshi tried grabbing Kagayaki, but could never secure a strong hold. First grabbing the arm of Kagayaki, then the leg. But out of control is Tetsuyoshi, and he pays the price with his third defeat. Uh, Tsukiyotoshi win for Kagayaki. Up at the dohyo now, it's Tsurugi Sho and Shimano Umi. Both at one and two. No spark in the pushing attack of Shimano Umi. Tsurugi Sho with a thick body, but not exactly the type to overpower an opponent. Coming in hard and low is Tsurugi Sho, and Shimano Umi simply steps to the side and watches Tsurugi Sho roll down. Uh, thrust down Tsukiyotoshi. Up now, Takara Fuji and Endo. Both at two and one. Takara Fuji, a durable veteran, has never suffered a major injury. Endo performing reasonably well considering he has aches and pains. Coming in faster is Endo moving into Takara Fuji's side of the dohyo and finishes off Takara Fuji. Well done by Endo, a Yorikiri force out. He's up to three and one. Takara Fuji falls to two and two. Moving right along to Hideno Umi and Tochi no Shin. Tochi no Shin's right knee in bad shape. Hideno Umi. Looks bigger than his 159 kilograms. Looks determined too, right now. They slam into each other. Strong inside position by Hideno Umi. And he wastes no time. Taking Tochinoshin over the edge. That's a Yori Kiri force out. Hideno Umi starting off this tournament well. With a three and one record, Tochinoshin one and three.